right? Python on hardware. This is from our newsletter that we do each week. Tens of thousands of subscribers um, join in. So um, we're doing news kind of real time ish. So last week we talked about Raspberry Pi being a public company. On Raspberry Pi, they have a really good article about doing silicon, about their chip making process and um, some of the people behind it. So you can check that out. Um, last week we covered this, but just to reiterate, they went to the London Stock Exchange, which is interesting because it wasn't the New York Stock Exchange. And it, um, I think it helped pulled what that financial um you like, can still buy stock around the world it's just like it's yeah but i think it's mediated through the london exchange yeah and i think one of the goals was for the the that financial district world uh that's not u.s bases like they wanted some winners so this was a winner congrats yeah. to the so it's like a british you know it makes sense yeah. british company they should, they should um, celebrate and check out the if uh, flowers talk from supercon 2023 the absurd idea of rendering keycap projects on the web it was just released on youtube and then you wanted to talk about simon's month latest book uh programming um esp 32s with MicroPython. yeah so Simon monk is you know he's a friend of the fruit we carry a lot of his stuff uh we've carried his books um he's written guides some of our most popular guides on the learning system he's an excellent educator uh, an excellent writer um really good at coming up with the the basics that people want to know um so having him write a book about MicroPython and esp32 like makes a ton of sense um definitely if you're getting started with electronics and you want to do iot and wi-fi projects but you don't want to get involved in c coding you want something easier uh check out his book i mean he's he's a really good teacher um not just a doctor he's also a teacher and he's got some great kits as well if you want to help support him uh we carry a bunch so um i guess it's i guess it's not i don't know if it's available for just now or you you can sign up to uh get it when it's released either way uh i always i haven't read it but i recommend anything by let's him. see it looks like you can get it now it's available it already has a rating or kindle and five star i give it five stars too um, that wasn't my review but i would i'd also give yeah. five stars there's already reviews rolling in congratulations yes so uh do check that and out and we'll work out with with our hardware yeah he uses thani as a python editor which i think is really good because it's a yeah. simple um uh, it's editor. so like people yeah. want to learn the esp32 is a great thing to do with MicroPython or circuit python yeah. all right you can check out some tensorflow and just for late bunch marks on raspberry pi um bunch of talk about swift on microcontrollers um just so everyone knows, we were, we've looked at this. Um, we're waiting for some of the examples to work and get compiled not, be before we go in and, and do yeah. stuff. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll be honest. I looked at it, and there's a couple issues of people saying, I can't even compile the, the blank. Yeah, so as soon as we see stuff, and if you have some stuff working, let us know. Get Cheat Sheet, um, notes from Adafruit Playground. If you want to check out um, some of the new projects, this is an instrumentation vibe for Display I.O. It's a hidden clock and more, and just Tons and tons. I just talked to you also prototype, prototype faster. Prototype yeah, this is this is cool. It's just from um the like Day conference, I think. Yeah. Um All right. yeah, lots of good stuff, lots of good hardware. For sure. check of us. Um don't forget this is delivered to you every single week in your mailbox, no spam. You don't even need to sign up if you don't want to. But if you do, adafruitdaily.com, completely separate website from